Hello friends and family, anybody who's watching. In this video, I'll be sharing my salmon recipe. I'll throw in a couple of vegetables with that. And then at the same time, I'm gonna be cooking some sourdough pancakes. What I'll be using in this recipe is my cold pack salmon. I call that the original fast food because when I can it, it's already cooked from the amount of time it takes in the pressure cooker. Essentially, you can go to your pantry if you have canned items, and these are fast food. I'm gonna be showing how I prepare a quick lunch with my canned salmon, spaghetti squash, and some steamed vegetables. And at the same time, I'm doing other things to prepare food for upcoming meals. It takes about the same amount of time to be cooking a pancake while I'm steaming the vegetables and not doing anything. So I'm trying to use my time more efficiently. So I get the pancake going. And what I do is I cook a whole huge skillet of a pancake because it's more efficient that way. If I have a round pan and I'm doing little round pancakes in there, if that's what you want, that's just fine. But for efficiency, what I do is the whole big skillet at one time, and then I just cut it in quarters. Then I take those quarters, and I put them in individual baggies, and I freeze them so the family can have like fast food right out of the freezer. If they want fresh sourdough pancakes, just go get one. My dogs, <laughs> they wanna be in the video, I guess. Well, anyway, that's what this video is about. I begin with what takes the longest to cook. So right here is my spaghetti squash. Now, these are shaped like a football. I use a large butcher knife to chop off the stem. Then I cut it in half long ways like you see here. Turn it upside down on a pan, cook it about 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Now I'll start with the salmon. I just put a big piece of um, parchment paper. You could also use foil or, or just put it straight on your pan. This is my cold pack salmon that I pressure canned. Um, so one little money saving tip I like to show right here is that I don't have an electric can opener. I just use these old fashioned cheapo things. Uh, and so I'm gonna use that part right there, that little hook, you know, to pry the lid off going real slow to try to keep from bending it so i can reuse that next time i do more pressure canning smell that mm. oh my goodness pour it on this and all those just the natural you know fats and water out of the salmon on leave it in there and then just kind of break it open a little bit since it's already cooked from the pressure canning, I'm just warming it up for about seven minutes in a convection oven on about 285. And now I'm gonna show you my pancake that I've got going over here. And in the background, you see my pot of steamed vegetables going. On this spaghetti squash, first thing I'm gonna do is get the seeds out and just throw them right in the garbage can. And then you kinda of just use a fork to rake out the, the fruit, I mean, uh, the vegetable of the spaghetti squash out. It's pretty hot. I can hold it with my hand on this half. The other half, I'll show you in a minute, I had to lay it down on the stone, uh, my granite countertop, uh, because it was too hot to hold. But anyway, just rake it right out like this with a fork. That's why they call it spaghetti, because it looks like spaghetti. And then all you do is put some butter on the top. Uh, I also put some of my pink Himalayan salt too. Here's the other half. Ooh, this this end this is a little bigger so it's hotter I had to set it down for a moment I'm gonna put probably like three tablespoons of this grass-fed butter in there and that's it we'll put a little salt on it It only takes a minute on that granite for most anything to cool off. 
because it works like a heat sink. And that's a really great thing if you need things to cool down fast. But otherwise, if you have a plate of food and it was warm, it's suddenly cold. You got to watch that with the granite or any kind of stone countertop. Mm -hmm. See, I'm still doing my sourdough pancakes, which I have another video on, and I will link to that at the end of this video. There's lunch, fresh caught salmon that I pressure canned, spaghetti squash, and mixed vegetables. And there's my finished sourdough pancakes that'll go, I put them in individual uh, baggies, and then they'll go in the freezer. Well, thanks for coming by and watching my video. I hope you'll come back again next time, and God bless.